toward the middle line of the germinal layer. In the result of it, primitive groove is formed and a primitive stick is formed. These epiblast cells separated from the primitive streak and move inward and lateral. In the result of which, three drugs are formed that are ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. How endoderm is formed? When the cells from the epiblast move toward the center and then it detach from the primitive stream and mingle with the hyperblast. In the result of which endoderm is formed. Hyperblasts do not take part in the formation of any germ, but it is considered as it play an important role in the formation of primitive streak and in normal development of the embryo. When this hyperblast segregate with the endoderm, in the result, portion of sac is formed around the yolk, which is termed as yolk sac. nourishment during the development of the embryo. When the endoderm is formed, then some cells from the epiblast move toward the middle arm, form primitive stick and then if through the primitive stick move laterally into the blastocene in the result of that mesoderm is formed. Remaining epiblasts form third layer which is termed as ectoderm. Here are different views of gastrulation. This is frontal view in which you can see that some cells from epiblast mingle with the hyperblast in the result of which endoderm is formed. While some cells through the primitive stick migrate laterally into the blastocene in the result of which mesoderm is formed. This is the lateral view of general disc. This is a primitive history and this is Hansen knot. Hansen knot is a swelling portion that is formed because of the migration of the cell anterior. When the cell migrate forward anteriorly, it forms notochord, while posteriorly in the blastocene, it forms mesoderm. While the cell mingle with the hypoblast, in the result of it, endoderm is formed. The cell that is formed because of the segregation of endoderm and hypoblast, this is termed as yolk cell. And a stalk is formed here because of the yolk cell which provides nourishment to the embryo during development. This is the above view of the primitive history in which you see that is formed in the germinal layer and the enemy handsome node is formed because of the migration
formation of the cell anteriorly, while the cell that is migrated from the epiblast into the blastocene laterally in the result of which mesoderm is formed. And the cell that mingle with the hypoblast form endoderm. Here is a complete view of formation of ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Endoderm form because of the migration of epiblast and mingling with the hypoblast that help in the formation of yolk cell around the yolk and yolk stalk that provide nourishment during the development of the embryo. The cell that move laterally inside the blastocene through the primitive stream that form mesoderm. Mesoderm is divided into three regions. The first region is termed as flexial mesoderm or epinephrine. While this is middle mesoderm or intermediate mesoderm which is also termed as mesomere. While last region of the mesoderm is termed as hypomere that spread into two layers. One is the cementopluri and second one is the insplanculopluri. Cementopluri is also termed as somatic mesoderm while splanculopluri is also termed as Splanic mesoderm. Because of the splitting of hypoderm into two layers, a cavity is formed which is termed as serum. This serum is lateral, divided into two serum. One is the embryonic serum, this one is the embryonic serum. And this is extra embryonic serum. While the remaining epiblasts form ectoderm, and with the ectoderm, semantic mesoderm, surrogate, and form a layer which is termed as brighter layer. While Splanic mesoderm attach with the endoderm and form visceral layer. Splanic layer with the endoderm form layer that is visceral layer, later on gap, visceral organs. While prior layer give the Plateau membrane and plateau body wall of the animal. In between of the mesoderm, here is neural tube is present, and with the neural tube, notochord is present. Later on, neural tube help in the formation of nervous system of the animal.
that provide nourishment during the development of the embryo. The epiblasts that move laterally into the blastocene that form mesoderm and this mesoderm is divided into three portions. One is the epimere, mesomere and then hypomere. Hypomere divided into two layers, one is the somatic layer and another one is the slide layer. Because of this splitting of hyperlayer, a cavity is formed between these two layers, which is termed as coelom. That later on divided into two coelom. One is the embryonic coelom, another one is the extra embryonic coelom. And the remaining epiblast form ectoderm. Here is neural tube and beneath the neural tube notochord is present. The organ that are formed in the result of formation of these drum are by the ectoderm here nails, inner air, lens and skin are formed. While mesoderm is divided into Three regions, epimere, mesomere, and hypomere. Epimere form as a skeleton include head and vertebrae, while skeletal muscles and connective tissues of the skin are also formed by the epimere of the mesoderm. While through the mesomere, the reproductive system as well as STT system is formed includes ovary, testis, ovidum, uterus, and kidney. By the hypomere, that is, let on form western layer and parietal layer, help in the formation of heart. Blood vessel, lymph, connective tissues of the body. Why endoderm help in the formation of intestine, liver, lung, and pancreas of the embryo? I hope you got an idea about the formation of three rungs: ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm as well as the process of castration in the result of which these drums are formed and the organ that are formed by these drums. In the next lecture we will study about the neurulation in the result of which nervous system is formed in the embryo. Thank you.